guys, thanks for tuning in to this week's renovation episode where we're progressing on the custom built shower. It's time to put in the second layer of cement flooring over the waterproofing membrane. Once we're done with this, then the walls can finally begin to go up. Now that we have the floor in, we're ready to put our walls, get that all going. We got some of the hardy backer in. Now we just gotta finish it, seal it up, and we can put our red guard on, which is going to be the waterproofing for the shower. Meanwhile, while Todd continues to make headway in the master bath shower, I'm going to begin prepping one of the bedrooms for renovation work, which includes removing structure from the walls, prepping them for paint, and reinstalling some sheetrock. more taxing projects in the house that just takes a little bit of time and elbow grease is removing the popcorn ceilings. Definitely they look very outdated. So you pretty much just need to scrape it off. Now if it's been painted, that's going to be harder. Instead of scraping it, if, if you don't want to go through all of that, whether it's been painted or not, you can actually just put sheetrock and <laughs> just hide it. But if you do want to go about scraping it and it hasn't been painted, so it's still the original popcorn ceiling that's showing, it does take a little bit of scraping. However, there's some really easy ways to do it. One, I've got a scraper on a pole and it's literally just duct taped. So, uh, so that's working really well. The other thing that you definitely want to do is get the ceiling wet and you can use a spray bottle or you can use one of these big things and just put regular water in it and uh, spray up at the ceiling. Get the ceiling fairly saturated with water and this, the stuff just scrapes right off, right down the sheet rock. You have to be careful that you don't nick it though. Before you start, make sure you're wearing your PPE. You don't want to breathe it in, and you don't want to get it in your eyes. So make sure you're set for that. I like to wear gloves regardless, so I always wear gloves. Well, I do think this one actually has been painted 
I can see around the vent it's a little different color, so that's why it's coming off harder. I basically have to scrape it, then moisten the old stuff underneath. So once I got the first layer scraped off, then I saturated it with water again, then it came off easier. So that's a real bummer. Hopefully this is the only room <laughs> that's been painted. Master bedroom has not, so that's all done. Houses built during and before 1977 may contain asbestos in their popcorn ceiling texture. Asbestos fibers can cause lung disease, scarring of the lungs, and or lung cancer when inhaled in large quantities. So it behooves a new buyer to consider this. However, it is easily removable and if left undisturbed can be harmless. To check if your popcorn ceilings have asbestos, you can hire a professional to test it or send a sample yourself to a lab and have it tested. Did you know it snows in Texas? The crazy thing was, about three days later, it was in the 80s. In the meantime, the dogs were loving it and enjoyed their chance to play in it for a bit. Before heading out, stop by and get yourself a hoodie from the Pippening's merch shop. It really helps out the channel. If you do, send me a pic of you wearing it so I can post it in the next video. Thanks for watching.